This is a tutorial on Sketchbook app on how to do your skateboard design. Select the plus button at the bottom of the screen and this allows you to go into your camera roll. So you're going to upload from image, you're going to import your photo and in your camera roll you will have a photograph of your oil pastel drawing. Here is my one here, so I'm going to tap on that and then you're going to hit the create button and this will import this into your sketchbook app. Now what we want to do is we want to add another layer, so tap on the pages at the top, press the plus button, then go up to the waffle grid at the top. The waffle grid will then bring down a drop down menu and there we have it. So we're going to import image, click on import image and then click on the little landscape picture there and it takes us back to our camera roll. I'm going to import my template of my sketchbook and now like two bits of paper I have my oil pastel study at the bottom and my skateboard design on top. I've just clicked the tick button to allow me to proceed further. This bar here that I'm showing you is the opacity tool and if you slide it along it makes the template or the image that you have selected more transparent. So what I've done now is I've just pressed on the transform button and this allows me to position the skateboard wherever I want on my design. Try and find a really interesting area to put inside your skateboard design. So we're going to continue working on the layer of the skateboard template so it is highlighted with a blue box around it so I know that that's the layer that I'm working on. I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to select the colour wheel and I'm going to select the colour white. Just now it's on the transparency tool which is why it had that grid. So I've selected white now and that means wherever I place my next tool it will appear white. So I've gone to the waffle section up here and I'm going to my little paint pot top right that says fill and if I tap on this layer now, it should go white. So I'm just going to check. Yep, and there it has. I'm on the correct layer and I have tapped on it and it's made everything white. Now I'm going to go up to the colour wheel and change my bucket from white and change it to a transparent layer. So when I pour this onto the surface, it will create a transparent layer. So I have to make sure there we go. When I tap on the skateboard, now what has happened is it now reveals the layer underneath. So now what I need to do is get my strong white background back and I do this by making sure I'm on the template, go to the opacity slider and slide it back along so that I can no longer see my drawing underneath. So I now want to straighten up my design, so I'm just going to select on my layers of paper. And what I want to do is I want to essentially put both layers of paper into one. So if I hit this button here called Merge All, what it does is it then places one piece of paper on top of the other to create one sheet. So what's the point in doing that? The point in doing that is so that I am now able to move my skateboard design into any position without the layers separating. So by merging them all together allows me to move and resize the skateboard into a position that I want it to go in. And lastly, always remember to save your work. I like to save it to my camera roll, so I hit the share button, and then that allows you to share it as a flattened image, which is with all your layers together. And I'm now gonna save it to copy image and save it to my camera roll. You can also save the image to your app. Aim to get two designs done from the one oil pastel drawing. Here are two examples that I got from just one drawing. In the next video, you are going to learn how to add your initials to your skateboard design. By the end of this project, you will have painted a cardboard replica of your fantastic skateboard design.